Hey guys, it's Helping Hands here, bringing you a new video this time. New content here, we're looking at a game called Broken Lines. It's a RPG, story-driven, turn-based tactical RPG set in an alternative history version of World War II. It's a game about a group of eight soldiers who crash land behind enemy lines. It's up to you to lead them home while fending off the enemy and helping them deal with the horrors of war. That is uh, taken directly from the Steam store, I've just read that off there for you guys. I hope you guys find this enjoyable. This is the tutorial we're going to go through and then after this next video I'll probably put a video on a couple of the campaign missions I've done so far. Hope you guys enjoy it. <clears throat> right you twits, are you ready to move out of boot camp in order to the battlefield? Hmm. Sir, yes sir. Like hell you are Private Fire. I bet you, wait I'm doing an American voice now. It's a British guy. I bet you can't even move your scrawny asses to the end of this training course. Hmm. Sir, we can, sir. Then stop your yammering and show me. Okay. Right, uh, press left mouse buttons to place waypoints and right mouse buttons and to remove them. Lines indicate where you move during this turn. Dashes in indicate future turns. And click the play button in the lower right corner to begin the phase. Right, so, so you get it there, to there, to there. Okay. So then F2 the other guy. Yes. It's like kind of waypoint things. Okay, and then play one. Go boys. <clears throat> God, you're taking forever. Run like your lives depend on it. God, this devotion freaking hell on my heart okay uh move stances crouch doesn't shoot while moving attracts less attention normal shoots while moving attracts standard attention sprint moves much faster doesn't shoot attracts more attention okay so if i want them to sprint move stances okay so move between different stances okay it's cancelling the movement order right Right, how do I do the chances? Okay, um... Changing a move of soldier's start behavior. To, to shift between crouch and normal, hold left mouse button to where you want to move and drag down right. Okay, so... Well, let's clear them off then, so... So... Okay, can get you to sprint. Sprint. Sprint and sprint. Okay. And then F1 guy needs to do that as well, so... Okay, so now we need to cancel this, so... So go over here. Okay, play. Right. Go, boys! Selling uses after all. Okay. Now what? Mission complete. Lieutenant Brooks is satisfied. Okay, well that's an easy movement. Why doesn't the officer have a gentlemanly voice? Right, it's learning about shooting now. I like this. this. Okay, this game is on Steam, by the way, guys. You can pick it up now for about 20 quid on Steam. What are you waiting for? An invitation from His Majesty? Wait, His Majesty? Wait, what the hell am I trying to do? <laughs> Shoot the sodding enemy soldiers already. A couple of mistakes, and they make me suffer for you lot. Ugh. Right. Your soldier automatically shoots at enemies who are within weapon range. Soldiers will autom automatically switch to the threat. Oh, hang on. I can't read that quickly, game. Uh... The soldiers will automatically switch to the threat that is nearest to their line of sight. Stop switching through them. I'm trying to read it, bro. That's a bit annoying. I wish they could fix that. Uh, moving while shooting. Your soldiers automatically shoot enemies. Soldiers near the line of sight. Moving while shooting. Sight reduces firing rate and accuracy. Okay. Holding the cursor at a point reveals possible cover. Line of sight and hit chances if your soldier is placed at the at, at point. Green if your soldier is red for enemies. 
If nearby cover is highlighted and a blue shield appears next to a, uh, a, a hit in chance indicator, it means that you or the enemy are protected by that cover. Okay. The green and red circles indicate that the base hit chance is accuracy when your soldiers and the enemy are in specific locations. Okay. However, they only take static conditions into account, such as height difference and cover. All temporary factors that affect such as stress and the ability and the ability effects are not added to the hit chance indicator. Okay. Right. So if I was to get you and move you to here. These guys have got revolvers, so they can't shoot me from this angle. So I move up to here. Right. And then he shoots that guy, I imagine, and then we do F2. Yes. Yes, and you move to... Why are you not being able to move? Is that... Okay, oh yeah, so I was the wrong guy. Right, you... Go there. Okay? Right. Remember, if they're walking... Slower speed, harder to hit. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Right, let's just do that. There they go. Oh, nice. Die scum. Die scum. Take that. Okay. Okay, maggots. Which side should you approach the enemy from? Hmm. Uh. If you hesitate that much, you uh meet be meeting your maker, Private. Now get the high ground on the double. Okay, so we've got to get a higher ground now. Let's turn the map around. I like how you can... Oh, look how cool I like, can move the uh, the camera around. That's really nice. It's like... Oh, look at that! Look at that's pretty good graphics, isn't it? For an indie game, man. Look at that! Shit! It's a little close-up on a couple, of the, a couple of the dudes that we've got here. Yeah. Not bad, is it? Right, so we've got to move to high ground. Okay, so let's move them to high ground. And you. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, there they go. <laughs> Standing on high ground will improve the hit chances for that soldier. So use the terrain to take your, your take your advantage and try to avoid situations where enemy soldiers are on higher ground. Right. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> you didn't kill yourselves by accident. Good. Okay. Anakin, I have the high ground. <laughs> Got it. Nice, nice, simple tutorials. Not over overwhelming me. You know, like some other games I've tried recently. Let's try cover now. Let's learn about cover. In waffles. How do you prevent the enemy from damaging you? Hmm? Sir, you damage them first, sir. Hmm. Sir, you take cover from attack from there, sir. Private Sherman has the right idea. Always attack your enemy from behind cover. Unless you want to end up like vultures, food on the battlefield. Sir, yes, sir. This guy sounds this this, this good wood guy looks posh, so we're gonna we're gonna be posh with him. Could have been worse, they said. The true duty, they said. Use cover to survive. Standing behind cover lowers the enemy chance to hit and reduces damage from explosives with suppressive fire. Cover points are highlighted when a soldier is near a blue is near. A blue shield is displayed next to the green hit chance when a soldier is close enough to, to provide the cover coin. Okay, cool. Right. Okay, you, my friend, Mr. Wood. Right, uh, let's move the camera around a bit. Okay, right, let's have a look here. So let's move you to here, and then I want you to move to here, and then there. Play. Watch out! Yeah! Yeah! Right. The cover of... The quality of cover, color, cover can vary. Fences are easily destructible, sandbags are more resilient, and stone walls, three stumps, tree stumps, and rocks are indestructible. 
Um, press right mouse button while hovering over a cardboard to see its details. Okay, there you go, right. Okay. Gib! Oh, oh, down! I was never this side as a rookie. Oh, we got a guy. Okay, so pro mm. oh, here we go. Private Wood, what the hell are you doing? Mm. Sir, trying to shoot the enemy, sir. Trying and failing. If they're behind destructible cover, then destroy their bloody cover first. Use suppression if you have to. Okay, let's we're going past this. Okay, suppression. So cover has no effect if the enemy is too close to the soldier and they're firing. Yep, okay, it's like something else. Suppression unloads a clip at a rapid speed. The, this lowers hit chance but increases stress for the enemies in the target area. Using the suppression ability when battling in open areas can help stress the enemy. Um, rendering them incapable of shooting back. Cover reduces the effect of suppression. Okay. So there's my suppression ability there. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Use special equipment. Most weapons include ability, uh, active abilities. Some machine guns can fire rapidly to suppress an area. Rifles can prioritize specific targets. Shotguns can knock down specific targets as well. Okay, so we'll do one. And we'll do, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's kind of like a firing art from. Okay. There we go, let's uh, do that. And then we'll just initiate that, okay? Take oh, that. Who is this? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. We'll next move the guy to here. Watch out! Okay, we found contacts. Just got pissed. I think it'll be alright just to move there. Yeah, go. Die, oh. scum. Alright, suppressive fire. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, I just got him anyway. These guys got revolvers, so they can't actually fire back because they've not, not, not got the range, apparently. I could have cooked dinner in the time that you took. Hey, Lauren, thank you very much for a whole year, buddy. Right, flanking, here we go, next one. Almost halfway through the tutorials. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you measly maggots! What's the most effective way to take out the enemy? Ah. Sir, shooting them, sir. Wrong, Private Avery. The most effective way to take out the enemy is to flank them and wear them down. This is pressing fire before you take them out. Hmm? Sir, doesn't that involve shooting them, sir? Do your horrible jokes involve any part of your brains, Private Wood? Sir, no, sir. I thought so. Now, for God's sake, would one of you suppress the enemy so that the others could flank and finish them off? Okay, right, so this seems pretty straightforward. Mm. So this guy, one, suppression. I mean, uh, you. Okay. Okay. Right, you go to here, then here, and then there. Okay. Let's see. Suppression unloads a clip at rapid speed. This loads a chance. Yep. Use flanking. Right, let's see if this works then. Ah, suppressing fire! Alright, so it's now stopped, so let me just do F2 again. Mm -hmm. Suppression. You get. Oh, yeah! You nearly impressed me there. Pretty straightforward. Okay, let's learn how to use the aim ability next. Sorry, we're halfway through the tutorial. Why are drill sergeants always such arseholes? That's a good question. Well, they kind of need to be because they need to because they're, they're they're teaching people that you know are brand new to the army. And they're kind of ruffians, right? They don't they don't know order and stuff, so they try and get order and discipline into them. Private Sherman, is this your first time firing a rifle? Hmm. Sir, no, sir. Sure looks like it to me. Aim down the sights. Make take more time to line up your shots before you waste any more bullets. Sir, yes, sir. Same goes for you, Private Fry. Don't just pull the trigger and pray to God. Save your hairy ass. Hmm. Save your hairy ass. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
gods, what would I get, would give to be promoted back to field work again? Aim fires a more precise shot at a specific enemy, but the shot takes up time to set up. Use the aim ability to focus fire on a higher threat when, bat when battling groups of enemies. Okay. Right, so I guess we're going to have you. Right, let's just rotate the camera around a bit. Right, so you need to... You're in cover, right? Okay, so you just go one... Wait, so if I do left mouse here, wait, e, what does E do? Wait and shoots. Oh, okay, uh, wait, crouch, no shooting, better cover. Wait, normal shoots. Okay. Okay, and then F2, hmm. same thing. Okay, begin. Get down! <laughs> Shit. Private! Why why in the bloody blaze are you not shooting at the enemy with a rocket launcher? Hmm. Shouldn't we shoot at the near enemies first, sir? The man has a goddamn rocket launcher, Private! Focus on the bigger threat first! I wouldn't have had to sell him up and tell my old squad that. Okay, so one. And then uh F Yes? Right, one. Okay, we shoot this guy first. Die, scum! Quick, shoot him! Boy! Fuck! Okay, so F1. Yes? You can see how long it takes for them to reload. There you go. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Knockdown ability, new ability, right, here we go. Yeah, conditioning, yeah. <clears throat> Private Fry, how did you prevent an enemy from attacking you at close range? Hmm. Sir, you attack them at long range, sir. Wrong! You knock them down with a shotgun blast! And then take them out before they have a chance to get back up! Uh, yes, sir. Show the nerd how it's done, Private Wood! And don't make me regret this! Mm? Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Knockdown fires a single round that renders an enemy prone. Uh, they will not retaliate until they get back up again. Use the knockdown ability as crowd control in tactical areas. Okay, so we go one on this guy, but we're going to run at him. There you go, let's see if that's worked. Right, let's do it. Begin. Eat lead. Oh. Enemy sighted. Okay, go. Well done, maggot! <laughs> Alright, pretty straightforward. Which I'll show you guys later. <laughs> okay, you... Buck privates, do I have to tell you how to use those pineapples of yours? Hmm. S sir, yes sir. I mean, no sir? Ah. Sir, if it's grenades you're talking about, then I know what to do. Sir. You're sorting right, it is, Private Avery. Now, back up that talk of yours with some action. Start by blowing up the wooden fences in front of you. Grenades, okay, right. Fire in a hole! Grenades can be thrown by clicking on them and icon, placing the impact zone, and avoiding harming allies. Take note of whether the throwing arc is green, yellow, uh, is green, clear, yellow, maybe collide on the way, or red, blocked. Right, let's just see what happens here. Fire in a hole with a grenade! Woo! 
Okay, right, let's move them up. Yes. Do, 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 do. Get down! Go crying to your mum, why don't you? Okay, right, let's go. You to. Wait, no, you're not gonna run aid, you're just gonna. Move to here. Oi. Fine. And then I want you guys to love a grenade from there. And then, can you not love a grenade? Okay. You can love a grenade as well, right? Oh, just realised, uh, I'll enter to lock my mouse to the screen. Okay. Begin! Go, boys! Fire in the hole! Woohoo! Drop you, monkeys. All right, cool. Is that it? One more. I think one more mission now, and we're done. Skirmish. What's this now? I don't know what this one. All right, so this is like putting all of, all the what I've learned to the test now. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so you think you've learned everything you need to know, eh? Then show me what you've got, what it takes. Okay, right, here we go. So let's do this. Right, so we've got three enemies up ahead. Okay, so let's go with you. Okay. I want you to sit here. And then I want you to do one and shoot this guy from there. And then I want uh, you, F3 Hi. boy. Hang on, uh, let's come over here. Then I want you to lay suppressing fire in that general direction. Then you get F1. Oi. You to go around to here. Then there. Then here. But I want you to run actually, so let's cancel them. So I want you to go here. Okay, so run, run, run. Okay. Smoke grenade. Okay, that's cool. Who's got grenades? Yes. Oi, fine. Okay. You've got a grenade. Actually, uh, let's go there. Press two. Right, you go there. Right, you want to go there. Then press two to lob the grenade there. And then shoot that guy from there. Okay, let's see if this works. Right, begin. Go! Enemy sighted. Take that! Burn the hole! Arr, that stings! Okay. Life of fire is best at long range. Okay, so you, one. You're still shooting that guy, yeah. Keep keep shooting that guy until he's dead. You, F3. Okay. Uh, concussion grenade. That heavily suppresses enemies. Yep, let's just lob that down there so they can finish them off. And then you. Aye. You're in a good spot there. Let's just yeah, you just move there. All right, that grenade's probably gonna kill him. Hey, nice. Did quite well. Nice. So you finished boot camp, but you must think you're proper Tommies now, yeah? Mm. Not really, sir. Then here's some news from you, sorry, Alar. You have not only completed basic training, and even took the win out of your sails. Ah. We're ready to fight for his majesty, sir. Like hell you are. If you maggots can keep a cool head and not get stressed out by the smallest mishap, then you might make it an impact out of there. Mm -hmm. That explains why they're stuck here in boot camp. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, no, I haven't got to open it yet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, what was that, Private Wood? Nothing, sir. Alright, cool. Let's get on to the main campaign now, guys. That's pretty good.
Hey guys, thank you for watching that video. If you want more content, please click on the link over here and over here. If you would like to subscribe, click on the button down here. Also click on the notification bell down there so you're notified whenever I post new YouTube content. I also stream nearly every single day on Twitch. Uh, I have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash helping hands. Uh, and if you want to show your support there, please do subscribe uh, as all your support helps me do this full time. And uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate it as always and catch you next time. Bye-bye.